Hello and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be about multiplying and dividing using basic facts. Now what I mean is using mental math to be able to solve math problems, in particular with multiplication and division. So here's how I want you to try and use basic facts. Without using pencil and paper, solve 12 times 30. Well, I do know that 12 times 3 is 36. And I see that 30 ends in a zero, so my answer will end in zero. So 12 times 30 is 360. So you use what you do know to solve what you don't know, and that's using basic facts to solve. Let's look at the next one. 11 times 400. I know that 11 times 4 is 44. And 400 ends in two zeros, so my answer will end in two zeros. And 11 times 400 is 4,400. Those are some very simple ways to use basic facts to solve multiplication problems. So let's use basic facts to solve each equation below. Try to solve using only mental math. Let's look at the first example, 120 times 60. I'm going to use my basic fact, which is 12 and 6. I know that 12 times 6 is 72, and I see that 120 ends in a 0, so I'm going to put that 0 at the end of my answer, and 60 ends in a 0, so I'm going to put that 0 at the end of my answer, and my final answer is 7,200. Let's look at this example, 60 times 80. I see that 6 times 8 is 48, and I see that I have a zero at the end of 60 and a zero at the end of 80, so that means I'm gonna have two zeros at the end of my answer, and my final answer is 4,800. Let's look at 300 times 20. This one's pretty straightforward. Three times two is six, and I have one, two, three zeros, and those three zeros are gonna go at the end of my answer. Anytime I multiply times a number that has a zero at the end, my answer will have a zero at the end. Let's look at 50 times 60. Five times six, that is 30. 50 has one zero and 60 has one zero, and so your final answer is 3,000. So hopefully you see how basic facts helps you to solve using mental math. Why don't you work on the last two on your own and use basic facts to solve them? Now let's talk about dividing using basic facts. It's not exactly the same as multiplying, but you really have to know your multiplication facts so that you can divide more easily using basic facts. So let's take the first example, 480 divided by six. I've gotta know my multiples of six so that I can solve this. So the basic fact is here, 48 divided by six. I know that 48 divided by six is eight. I see that four, 480 has a zero at the end, so my answer will have a zero at the end. So my quotient, my answer is 80. Let's look at the next one. 3,600 divided by four. Well, I've gotta know my multiples of four. Well, 36 divided by four is nine. I see that 3,600 has two zeros at the end, so my answer is going to have two zeros at the end. And let's do one more. 810 divided by 9. I know that 81 divided by 9 is 9, and I see that 810 has one zero at the end, so my answer will have one zero at the end. So dividing is just as easy as multiplication, but it can be challenging if you don't know those facts. So always make sure that when you're getting into the bigger numbers like this and using basic facts, make sure that you really know and have practiced your zero through 12 multiplication and division facts. And basic facts will be a lot easier for you when we're strong in these facts. I hope this video helps you to better use basic facts to multiply and divide. If you'd like to see more helpful math videos in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to learn more about the resources featured in this video, please read the description below. Thank you for watching.